G'day champions, today I'm going to show you how to build this underground safe house. This safe house includes everything that you could possibly need in the last resort. If you need a place to hide, a place to armor up, or even just a place to hang out, this is the build for you. Alright, let's get started. So this safe house will be placed into any of your bases as long as it has access to the ground. What you want to do is dig a one block hole down as far deep as you want to go and then create a trapdoor on the top. Once the hole is deep enough, go ahead and make the walls of that hole spruce planks and then add ladders in all the way up. Now the entrance does need some light so go ahead and break a block randomly wherever you need to add the extra light, place a lantern in and then cover the rest of the open blocks using spruce planks. You can add as many of these as you like or as little, whatever you prefer for the light levels to be. Now at the entrance we're going to add in some spruce stairs and some dark oak logs, they're going to be stripped logs of course. Then dig a further two blocks out and then on the third block create another stripped dark oak log pillar. Next we're going to extend the base. So each section will be 5 blocks wide with the 6th block being another dark oak pillar just like this. You want to do this 4 times so there's a total of 4 compartments or 5 pillars of dark oak logs. Once that's done extend the roof a little bit more to make it a total of 5 blocks tall. Now on each of the pillars we're going to add in these stabilizers using dark oak logs and of course dark oak stairs. In between the pillars for the roof we're going to add in a mixture of spruce stairs, spruce slabs and spruce trapdoors to create this nice little design here. I know it might look complicated but trust me it's pretty simple. I'm going to do it a couple times just so you can see exactly how I'm doing this. Make sure to do this for all 8 sections. Now on the floor add in this little bit here using stairs and trapdoors. Now connect the roof using dark oak planks.
Now at the front we're going to add in this armor stand, just in case you need to grab some extra armor and also because it looks epic. I use sea lanterns to light it up from the bottom and then place spruce planks all the way around. Next, we're going to create this little chest section. We're going to do this twice on both sides. Make sure the walls are all stone. Add in some stone stairs and stone slabs on the top so you can open the chests. Add a line of sea lanterns at the back. Add barrels to the middle and then chests. You can make the whole thing all double chests if you prefer. On the next section we're going to create a blacksmith area. This will have a bunch of blast furnaces, normal furnaces and some anvils. Next up, we're going to have our crafting and miscellaneous area. This is going to have a bunch of different workstations, smokers, and every type of crafting block you could possibly need. Next up we've got an enchanting section, this is very simple, just adding in an enchanting table in the middle, add in a layer of books around the walls, and of course add in a little row of stone slabs at the very top at the back. On the other section we're going to create a brewing station. Now I used blackstone bricks and blackstone for this to add to the nether kind of feel and then filled it in with brewing stands. I made sure all of the blocks on the back were also stone. Now at the opposite end of the entrance we're going to create a nether portal. Make sure to add in some fences just to make sure that no one gets into the overworld.
And finally, for the last two compartments, we're going to create two different farms. One side will have nether warts so that we can get unlimited potions brewed if we need to in the case of an emergency. And on the other side, we're going to have wheat, carrots or potatoes just so that we can have a food source just in case we run out. Now finally, next to the nether portal, we have a little section on both sides. We're going to add in some more armor stands with armor. This time I'm going to use iron and gold armor just to add to the aesthetic of the build. And finally, to complete this little build off, we're going to add in some details to the floor. Using a very small checkered pattern of stone bricks, go ahead and create this little five square, kind of like a not some cross table, in front of each of the compartments, just like this. There should be one block between the wall and the checkered pattern on the floor, and then three blocks in between each of the checkered patterns. This is a very simple detail, but makes the floor look much less boring. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe because we post these tutorials all the time. Thank you so much for watching to the end. You're an absolute legend and I will see you again very soon.